Welcome to eHealth Learning, inspiring professionals worldwide. So this is a classroom skeleton, and I just wanted to keep, keep it relatively simple and make a point about what we mean by a pre-stiffened architecture. You saw the film that John showed, and it showed this incredible invagination of the, the body forming, if you will, chambers within chambers. And you notice that that was all occurring. Everybody's very busy looking at the the ball moving but actually it's inside a, a chamber which is inside another chamber which is inside a chamber called the uterus which is inside a chamber called the peritoneal sac which is inside a chamber called mama um, and all of these are influencing each other through a system of forces tension compression forces basically and I just wanted to start for those that are less experienced, but actually it's always been very powerful for me to go back to the beginning, that this is the classroom model of a skeleton. And if you look closely, I think you can see the wires holding it together. So that in itself for me was a, was a showstopper. When I realized that without those wires, those bones aren't held up, it was like, well, what is that a model of? And this is actually what would happen if we didn't have all those wires in the classroom skeleton, which we worship as if it was a something in a church that you kneel down to and put candles round, quite frankly, as if it's the key to understanding the human body. And one of the things that I struggle with in the anatomy classroom, now please understand I'm not bitching about classical anatomy, it's very useful, but it's a useful map, it's not a useful guide for um, the terrain necessarily. It can be very dislocating to understand how movement works when you base it on a stacked skeleton, as John said, a spinal column. Um, and this is where we're just breaking down the idea that this, how this ever got accepted, we know the answer to that, but I, I wanna be sort of reasonably brief, that this is what would happen if those wires that are not in the body, they are faking connective tissue. So this is a useful model, but it's used and extrapolated to be more than it can be. 